referrals as a source of new leases in our self storage facilities average either first or second in the source of new leases for every, almost every facility in our portfolio. Let me talk to you a little bit about the surprising thing about referrals. Two sources of referrals that might be very surprising to you. My name's Mark Helm. I'm the author of Creating Wealth Through Self Storage and I'm the creator of the Quick Start Academy. That houses the on-demand self storage boot camp and that's the training I offer that will take you no matter where you are from wherever you are all the way to putting your first self storage or your next self storage facility into service it incorporates the four phase strategy we use in our business it has the work a workbook and all the forms and it's a video and it'll take you and guide you step by step to putting your first self storage facility into service at your pace you can find out more about it at creating wealth through self storage.com or you can go to quickstartacademy.com. But I want to talk about referrals. Now, in our facilities, we track everything, but usually the, the there's three main sources of, of new leases for us, and they kind of flip around what is number one and what's number two. Internet, obviously, is a big one today, but drive-by and referrals. Now, referrals usually fall in one or two every now and then in the third slot, but they're way up there as a source of new leases for us. On the low end, it might be 10% a quarter. On the high end, it's like 40% a quarter is what it's been for us. Now, that's 100% attributable to our managers. It has nothing to do with me as an owner, they're the source of it, and it's, in my humble opinion, a function of good customer service. But if we dive into the world of referrals, what's interesting are what are the main sources of referrals? So that's what I want to talk about. Not surprisingly, one of the main sources of referrals for us is current and past customers. And surprisingly, the second main source of referrals for us is other self-storage facilities. Both of those are a function of the managers we hire. So let's talk about the training. So when we hire a manager, the first one of the first things we do is we train them on how to ask for referrals and when to ask for referrals our experience is if you ask for referrals either directly or subtly after the customers had a positive customer experience you tend to get more referrals that way so what do I mean by a positive customer experience well there are certain times and a customers interaction with your company that they have good experience very often when people move in that's a positive experience that's a good time to ask for a referral uh, another time is when you've solved a problem for them so for example uh, a lot of our facilities we have parking and in most of our facilities we have a plugged up ready to go quick start jump starter so if somebody has a vehicle that won't start, we can jump it for them and help them get going. Now, we may not immediately ask for a referral, jump their car, ask for the referral, but within 48 hours, we'll send a card out. Now, with referrals, we always pay cash. We will give a customer, and depending on the facility, depending on the city, depending on the market, we'll give anyone $50 on the low end. It's been as high as $300, but usually it's $50 to $100 cash for a referral for a customer that rents from us because you referred it to them. You may ask, why don't you just take it off their rent? Well, my experience is if they want to apply it for the rent, they can do it. But there's something very empowering about getting $100 cash for a referral. 
So our managers will solve a problem or there'll be some other positive experience, customer experience, and our managers may follow up the next day or within 48 hours with a card or an email reminding them that thanking them for being a customer and reminding them that if they will refer somebody to us, we will give them a cash referral fee for that. So when people move into a facility, after you've solved the problem for them, um, just after six months of being in your facility, you can send a card out to them thanking them for being a customer. When people leave the facility, after they no longer need storage. Also, after with past customers, it's good to stay in touch with them periodically, once a year, twice a year sending them a card, sending them an email, telling them you appreciated their business and reminding them that if they will refer someone to you, you will still pay them a cash referral. Past customers and current customers are usually our number one or number two source of referrals. Now, surprisingly enough, other storage facilities tend to be the number one or number two. It'll alternate from market to market, facility to facility, but usually past customers and existing customers are either number one or number two, and that flips back and forth between other self-storage facilities. Now that may seem weird to you, but here's the training we give our managers. Get to know the manager, get to know the other facilities, get to know the managers in the other facilities. In today's world where rents are rising and things are hot, very often another facility will have a customer, a potential customer come in and they don't have what that customer's looking for. Now our manager our managers are trained to tell those managers, look, if, if you got a customer standing there and wants something and you can't fulfill it, send them to us and I'll pay you $100 when that customer rents from us. And here's what we do. Our, cust our managers are trained that within an hour of that customer renting, even if they have to close the facility, shut the store down, close the facility, get in their car and drive over there, they're going to do that to give that referral fee to that manager. And that keeps the referrals from other storage facilities coming over. I never cease to be amazed at the information we get from the managers of other self-storage stores. They'll send people to us because we'll pay them for it. They tell us what their occupancy is, what their specials are. It's just amazing. And what's really even more amazing is rarely, if ever, do they ask our managers for the same information. But we train our managers to you know, befriend them, let them know what we have, what our specialty is, what our unit mix is, how much climate control, and remind them, call on them, you know, once a month, that if they don't have what that customer's looking for, don't forget to send them to me, I'll pay you for that customer. And it goes to the manager, not to the company. In fact, I even wrote about a, a situation in the book, Creating Wealth Through Self-Storage. We know this manager brought it to our attention. We noticed that every Friday we would get two or three, sometimes four, referrals from a facility that was about a quarter mile away from us. And after about a month of this, we the manager looked into it and found out that the person working there was the grandson of the owner, young person, late teens, early 20s, and the referral fees we were giving him were his party money for the weekend. So when Friday would come around, he needed money for the weekend, he just would refer people to us and we'd run over there with the cash and give it to him. Good example of what we're paying cash for referrals can do. I suggested we 
double the fee we're paying this kid let's help him really have a good time each weekend i don't remember exactly what happened on that but it was fun while it lasted i'm sure the grandfather eventually caught on but that's the power of paying cash for referrals now we use managers so we focus hard on good customer service and empowering our managers and having our managers get to know people. The real art in the future of keeping this referral source or new leases coming from referrals, which is a big part of how we generate revenue, is to figure out how to provide good customer service in such a way that it generates referrals in the age of automation. I certainly don't have it figured out. I'm sure there's people who are a lot better at it than I am at this moment. But as we move towards more automation in our industry, this is really customer service and re getting referrals because a referral typically is the least expensive source of new leases there is. So as we move towards automation, creating great customer service that generates those referrals, that's the art I'm working on developing. I'd appreciate any input and ideas that you guys may have about it. Anyway, that's what I wanted to talk about today. The art of referrals in the self-storage business. My name is Mark Helm. I'm the author of Creating Wealth Through Self-Storage. And I'm the creator of the Storage World Analyzer, which is the financial analysis tool we use as we analyze storage opportunities. You can find out more about it at creatingwealththroughselfstorage.com and storageworldanalyzer.com. Thank you, and I look forward to being with you next week.